Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how we're going to clean up a Windows Server 2008 operating system. Um, as you can see, our C drive is completely maxed out. Our data drive is still good. That's got a couple of shares on it, not anything too crazy. Um, so let's go ahead and try to clear this up. So the first thing you want to do is go into C drive, go to Windows, and then go to a file called temp. So usually these temp files are our uh, Windows updates that have been downloaded, and extracted, and then installed. Um, if we, yeah, as you can see, you can quickly see uh, these KB files. So these are like security updates or future updates or whatever it might be. So these are just updated files that we can go ahead and uh, remove because it's already been installed. And you can see these are really old from 2014. So yeah, very old. So we can go ahead and select all these files. It's safe to do this. You select all the files, hit our delete command, and it's probably going to come up saying that there's not enough room in the recycling bin just to delete it, probably. Uh, go ahead and hit yes. Yeah, see, there's a lot of items in there, 7,000. Wow. But look, you can quickly see, look how much, look at that, over 150 gigs. So, um, yep. Yeah, see, there's not enough space on the C drive. Yep, that's fine. Just go ahead and force delete. And now it's clearing all those uh, big big temp files so let's go ahead and give us a couple minutes to delete all those files that's 150 gigs um, I mean that's a lot so this is definitely going to clear things up so let me just skip that that's just some temp files from VMware which is fine so we go back to C drive you can see we just cleared up half our storage just by doing that and let's go ahead and clear everything out of the recycling bin so yeah, this definitely needed to be done. So you can see now we have 160 gigs free. That's just a quick, easy way to figure that out. So like I said, C drive, Windows folder called temp. Just clear all those out. Those are just unpacked uh, Windows updates most likely. Um, if you try to delete it and it says you can't be deleted because it's probably being read, um, just hit skip on those items. So there's uh, one other location that we can look into. Um, so once you clear those files out, go into C Windows, and then I believe it's System32 and Log Files, I believe. Yep. So if this has got a bunch of files in here, you can go ahead and clear these out too. These are just log files. Um, I'm not in my case because <clears throat> there's not a whole lot. Um, so I'm not even going to really worry about that. So we're going to go ahead and skip that. But if you have a lot of files in there, you can clear that. Or if it's taking up a lot of space, you can do that too. Another location is if this is a server running IIS, um, you can go to C drive, internet, and then go to logs. These can be uh, huge as well. So click on log files, and then the server. And uh, it doesn't look like there's too many in here. So we don't really have to worry about it. But this can be very uh, consuming. Um, so you might need to clear some of those out, but like I said, in our case, we're not because um, we already cleared out half of the storage just by doing that temp. So some of them you don't need to really do all what I'm doing, but you know, in every instance, it might be different. So another location would be C, Windows, and then Software Distribution. Um, and in here, you might have a lot of files again. Um, if you do, go and clear these out. These are just downloaded. Um, Windows updates. Um, so you want to go to software distribution, then downloads, and you can safely delete all these. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that now. Um, these are already updates that have been installed. Um, there could be some pending, so if it's if you're trying to delete it and it won't let you delete, that's why. Um, so don't delete those ones. Um, but it will redownload them in, in any case. So we can go ahead and empty recycling bin. So that's all. Just check those couple directories. I'll leave the description for those directories in the video so you can see um, if we go back to C drive you can see uh, we have a lot of free storage now thanks guys